Hi guys, welcome back to Kev's Kitchen. So today we're going to do roast chicken with some roast potatoes, roast carrots, and a selection of veg. I got some peppers, beetroot, some onion, a bit of parsnip, and a bit of courgette I had left in the fridge. I'm going to be using garlic. Now, to start with, with the chicken, I've basted the chicken in some butter, then I've seasoned it with salt and pepper and some herbs. I've left it out of the fridge now for an hour before I put it into the oven. In the dish, we want the chicken to sit on the vegetables so the air circulates underneath. And this dish will also become the base for our chicken gravy. So in the dish here, I've chopped up some carrots, some celery. I've taken the bottom off some garlic, chopped up an onions. And now we're just gonna put the chicken on top of this. We're gonna, nothing else. Put this in the oven. We're going to put it in the oven at 200 degrees and because it's a 1700 gram chicken I'm expecting it to take an hour and 45 minutes. Don't put anything on top of this and it's in the middle part of the oven. Okay so after putting the chicken in I got my potatoes ready. So I've chopped them up and they're nice and big. Put a bit of salt in the water and we're going to get them boiling for about eight minutes. So they're just a little bit soft on the outside, but still hard on the inside. So while they're boiling, we're going to get our carrots and our other veg ready. So with the carrots, they're just organic carrots, so there's no need to peel them. You can chop off any little bad bits, but I'm just basically I'm going to wash them. I'm going to chop them. We're going to put them here. I'm going to put some salt and pepper on them, and then I'm going to put a little drizzle of maple syrup, because it works really well with carrots. I'm in the oven for at least 30 minutes now. So we got our root vegetables. So I got some carrots, the parsnips, and the beetroot. I'm gonna give, put them with some salt, some pepper, as much as you like, a little drizzle of olive oil, and I like to put a little dash of maple syrup. Not too much. It's quite sweet. Now. So these go in the oven. Now I've had to put the chicken in the bottom part of the oven and the root veg is going into the middle part of the oven and then we're going to put the roast potatoes in the top part of the oven. This is a fan oven so everything's getting circulated. So the potatoes, I've taken, took the potatoes off the boil. We're going to let them sit here and just dry out a bit. And as you can see they're getting a little bit fluffy, a little bit rough around the edges. That's kind of what you want. So, I'm going to throw them back into the pot. And now we're going to season them. I'll find you get a better season if you leave them in the pot. It just gets a spread, even distribution. And some olive oil. Some herb de Provence because I love it, and give them a shake, the rougher they get, the crispy they're going to get. Now, just spread them out. So these are going to go in the oven now, so the chicken still has one hour to cook, approximately. So they're going to go in the oven at the top for the first half an hour, and then we're going to rotate everything in the oven. We're going to bring the chicken up to the top when we put the potatoes down at the bottom for the last 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the veg has been in the oven there for at least half an hour. So the potatoes have roasted pretty good and the veg is roasted good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the potatoes out. <laughs> They've all roasted and sealed, so they're not going to get them sweaty. I'm going to mix all the rest of the veg in on top of them. You want to cook them off for the first half hour separately so they don't all get mushy. And then adding to that, we're going to put some, some red pepper and some garlic. Okay, and a little bit of salt and pepper. There you go. All right. And a little bit of olive oil. And 
just spread these about. I don't like to put the peppers or the garlic in at the start because they only need half an hour to cook. And we put these back in at the bottom of the oven. And then we're going to take the chicken out. That's what the chicken's looking like now. So this is a 1700 gram chicken, 1.7 kilos. So we're going to cook it for an hour and 45 minutes. Now we're just going to baste it again. Yum, 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 yum. And this goes back in the oven. And in half an hour, we're going to take the chicken out, let it rest for about 15 minutes before we cut it. And we'll have the veg all ready. And the gravy we'll make while the chicken is resting. Okay, so, so the chicken out of the oven. Yeah, we're going to check to make sure it's done. Professionals say if you cut in at the leg and the juices run clear. And there you go. Just check. You just notice all the juices there. They're all clear. So that's the chicken out of the oven. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start making the gravy. So all the juices that are still in this pan, I'm going to lift it. Drop everything in here. So that's all the vegetables. So it's the celery and the carrot and the onions. I'm just going to take the onion skins out. They do just fall off. Now. And now we're going to begin starting our gravy. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use all the vegetables for the gravy. So I'm gonna take some out. -da -da. The garlic are gonna have to peel the skins off the garlic by hand. So there's a little pepper in there, some onions, and I'm gonna put some carrots. Now we start this on the stove. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour in. A stir in. So this is basically my vegetable chicken gravy. Leave that gap going. We're going to leave this for a few minutes. I like to actually add some red wine and because it's so thick and we want lots of gravy I'm probably going to add a little bit of chicken stock. Okay so the gravy's been cooking for a few minutes. We added the flour. I did add some extra chicken stock and a dash of red wine. But to give the baby gravy a bit of extra body, we're going to get the few bits of roasted egg and we're going to blitz it. this back. Into our gravy. Give it a stir. And now just give this another five or ten minutes cooking. And before you pour the gravy into the pouring jug, just get yourself a little sieve and run it through the sieve. Okay. 
So this is what it looks like on the plate. We're just going to finish it off with some peas, which I just blanched in some hot water for two minutes. And put a knob of butter on them. Uh, this is our gravy. And now this gets delivered to our next door neighbours. Thanks very much. Be sure to check out the description because if there's anything I didn't say in the video, I will write it in the description. Take care. Bye.